Well, as you heard earlier in the newscast, a Falcon 9 rocket blasted off tonight from the Kennedy Space Center. It is bound for the International Space Station with the intent to bring astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore home. Whew! I'm not up there with them, but I have felt claustrophobic for them. A mission that was supposed to last no more than 10 days is now pushing 10 months. Would I be cool with that? Absolutely not. I have admired Sonny's sunny disposition, though, as she has described what it's like up there. There's one on the ceiling, if you want to call it, right here. And then there's a fourth on the other wall over here. Whee! But here's the thing. She and Wilmore have been forced to stay in space because of one technical problem after another on the spaceships designed to bring them home. NASA Commander Bill Nelson has preached patience. The decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. He's right, but would that make me feel any better up there defying gravity? Absolutely not. I'm too spoiled by the creature comforts of Earth. Up there you have to use a space toilet, Velcro in the kitchen so your food doesn't float, and even taking a nap is a trip. But it doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. Hmm. No thanks. Plus, the ISS orbits the Earth every 90 minutes, so the sun rises and sets 16 times a day. That would really freak me out. Now, Elon Musk says he could have brought the astronauts home sooner, but claims that idea was shot down for political reasons. The two stranded astronauts wisely did not weigh in on that. They just want to come home. And now, maybe they will. The one silver lining to being stuck in space that long is that because of physics, they will actually come back to Earth a little younger than when they left. Hmm, would that be worth it? Nah, absolutely not.